It's the 17th of October, 2025. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. Thank you for joining me on Mr. Weatherman Europe. Thousands of new subscribers. Thank you. Pushing 50,000 at this point. Thank you for being part of this. Now, the weather pattern is breaking in Europe. We're going to see significant storms approaching. There's already one nearby now. Not a super strong one, but that is the first one to change the pattern. This one is going to uh, be something really to watch as we work our way into the upcoming week. Next week, uh, we're going to see this system starting to work in. Uh, rather a, a large system here. This has been spinning for days, kind of a, a break off from the initial spin. This is going to work across and break that pattern down further, plus watching the Mediterranean for more activity, monitoring that as well. So you see two spins. Here's the Atlantic region of Canada. That's that spin I'm talking about for next week. And then we have this spin here, this one a little bit weaker, but that's the one that finally helps kick out that area of high pressure. Pressure. This will nudge in with some of that rain for some of us, Ireland and the UK in particular, eventually uh, Germany, uh, the Netherlands, uh, uh, Belgium, uh, Denmark will be seeing some rain, even down through France catching that. And then we'll zoom over toward Norway, seeing a mix of some rain and snow. snow. So let me show you the first system here. Here it is. This is Saturday morning. There's your time frame, top right hand corner of your screen. We start to get some rain working in late in the day on Saturday for some of us with this first system. Again, nothing too aggressive, but definitely changing the pattern. That's the big headline with this one. And then by the time we get into Sunday, working across, still some rain, Northern Ireland, uh, watching Ireland. But as you work your way back toward parts of England, uh, Wales, swinging back through Scotland, better chance of some rain. It's not all day action, right? But it's going to be this band of rain that works in. Then by the time we get into Monday, this storm system moves across, watching Norway, Denmark, the Netherlands, Belgium, France, seeing some rain, and eventually uh, edging its way toward Germany. Chances of some rain. Watching out for some rain over toward us. Switzerland and Italy, of course, higher terrain. We're talking about some snow in spots, but this is finally changing that weather pattern. That's storm system number one. I'll show you the second bigger one in just a moment, but let's cover this. Keeping an eye on the Mediterranean. Also watching some of the rain anywhere from Belarus, Ukraine, down through Turkey, seeing some of the rain. Romania, we've had that at times, but watching this area here, southern Italy on Sunday, watching back toward Greece, could clip North Macedonia and Albania, and here comes that other other system that's moving in. Uh, France seeing some rain. Not as much Portugal and Spain, but then as we work our way into Monday, you see this area moves toward Turkey, keeping an eye on uh, this influx of rain that we'll be watching. And snow, of course, Switzerland, Northern Ireland, but the Mediterranean will be very active. Also keeping an eye on the water temperatures there. I'll touch on that in just a second. Now, here's the big picture with that next storm system. Let's, let's back up again. This is this weekend, watching this first one moving in, just to give you the big picture on what we're we're seeing. And then I'll bring in this system uh, from the Atlantic. Keep an eye on these different areas. We just covered these together. Watching over toward Norway as well. Uh, parts of a Sweden uh, higher terrain. Seeing some of that uh, snow. Here's this system moving in. It does help kind of, uh, kind of uh, advance this. This is that rain back toward Greece. Nothing too strong, but additional flooding possible in some spots. Then here's Monday this sprawly storm system around. There's some of the rain pulling back toward Italy. We'll watch uh, Austria swinging even eventually back toward Hungary uh, over toward uh, Poland for some of that rain. But there's some of that rain in Turkey. Russia seeing some of the rain. Here's that first storm system. Then we start to shift our attention, right? As the week goes on, this is by Tuesday, watching spots of rain. Then we're going to see the next system starting to move in. Here it is Wednesday into Thursday. Look how big this spin is in this. This is the one I was showing you off of the Atlantic region of Canada. That's going to roll in midweek and late week with some impacts. Heavier rain. We're talking about substantial flooding in some spots out of this. We'll be fine tuning that together in some upcoming videos. So I appreciate you subscribing so you could get the latest updates on this. But here's that next big spin, more of a wind maker and a, a higher chance of rain and uh, higher totals as well. I want to touch on the Mediterranean real quickly. I mentioned a couple areas we're watching for some of that rain. Water temperatures above average. That does add to the instability, the lift in the atmosphere. Point being, we could see some stronger uh, cyclones as we work our way through the Mediterranean as we go over the next few months. And more on that in the last video. But again, it's this spin here. Now, keeping an eye on the hurricane season, we've really had that up and around pattern. This is that second spin that will eventually move in. 
There's a spot, though, in the Atlantic uh, that could become Melissa, the next name Storm. That'll, that'll head toward the Caribbean, covering that as well on uh, the other channel in which I focus in on the Caribbean. So hurricane season, not over yet, and we'll see how that all kind of ties in. These are the names in the Atlantic hurricane season, of course. We've had some remnants of systems this season in uh, parts of Europe, and the next uh, name on the list is Melissa, then Nestor and Olga after that. Hurricane season goes through the end of November, uh, but the last few years, October and November, have been very active, and we're still seeing that trend again uh, this season. So we'll be watching out for any remnants of systems that can uh, get close. Now, watching the rain, this over the next uh, few days, looking at the uh, three-day rain total. So we're looking at Saturday, Sunday, into Monday, and you see some spots, uh, 10 to maybe 25 millimeters of rain, but in between southern coast of Ireland, watching that, uh, we'll keep an eye on a, even over toward England, we could get a few spots uh, over 25 millimeters of rain just depending on how that kind of band of rain sets up and pushes in but there's some of that heavier stuff that we'll be watching of course the higher terrain uh, some of this is a uh, snow and then watching out for this moisture here sliding from parts of southern Italy to Albania France where some totals could be over 100 uh, millimeters of rain with some of that flooding even uh, pushing uh, 20 centimeters right I showed you the water temperatures they're warm it does add to that the lift adds to the moisture of that we'll be watching out for that uh, flood chance and then watching this in through here of course parts of Norway and Sweden uh, some of that is snow Latvia South, uh, it could see a shower too in Estonia, but uh, Lithuania back through Belarus, parts of Poland uh, swinging back toward uh, Ukraine, watching out for that chance of some rain. But this in here, that's some of the snowpack we're watching, of course, over toward Iceland. Uh, but it's been very aggressive, everything very aggressive along the coast of uh, Norway. So continuing to watch that pattern. So that stuck weather pattern for some of us uh, will finally break across Europe. We've got one system rolling in this weekend, but that larger system moving in uh, around the mid middle of uh, the next working week. That one could be a bigger wind maker with heavier pockets of rain and substantial flooding setting up in some spots. We will be covering that together. Thank you for being part of this weather community, uh, Mr. Weatherman Europe, and I hope you have a good weekend ahead.